road rage can be scary and instant karma can be deadly. In the dash cam footage to follow, you will see people driving like complete idiots, car crashes, and even armed robbery, all caught on dash cam recordings. The only thing better than one dash cam video is two dash cam videos on the same car. That's the setup on this Mercedes. These two men have a camera on their dashboard and a rear camera attached to their trunk, and for what ensues, they will be needing both of them. While going down the highway, a car speeds up on the two men out of nowhere. It's broad daylight, and the car in pursuit doesn't seem to care who may be watching. It swerves around the lead car and then jumps in front of the men and slams on the brakes. The driver in the car is looking for a fight for sure and tries to run them off the road. It may seem like just a fairly normal occurrence of road rage in any city, but what happens next takes this situation to a whole new level. The men notice that a weapon is brandished outside of the passenger window. It's an axe. Oh, it's got an axe to it. Like, what are you doing? Oh, keep distance, bro. The guy is waving around an axe at them and threatening them with their lives. The two men are caught completely off guard, not knowing what they could have done to make the people in this car so angry. They take a sharp turn through the white ramp poles and make an effort to lose them. It doesn't work. The car stays on their tail and the situation escalates at the upcoming roundabout. The Mercedes gets rear-ended not once, but twice. Fortunately, for them, the second collision sends the car spinning and running off of the road. This allowed them to get away safe and drive up to the nearest police station where they were able to report what just happened. The police went back to where the driver spun out and the car was already gone. However, a few hours later, thanks to the license plate information retrieved from the dash cam footage that we are watching, the suspects were apprehended. Once identified, the driver of the Mercedes was able to give an update as to how the situation got so out of control. He testified that the people in the car that were pursuing them were fully convinced that he and his friend and the Mercedes with him had robbed their house the night before. The two men denied the claim, saying that they had never seen the two men in the car before in their lives and had no idea where they lived. They assumed that they were under the influence of something to make such ridiculous accusations. The driver and the axe wielder would be arrested and charged with multiple offenses, which put them behind bars for two years. Ralph Loretta is in trouble. He has just started his shift and picked up his first ride of the day. Unfortunately, that first passenger is a thief armed with a deadly weapon. This dash cam footage shows that when Ralph stops at a red light, the attempted armed robbery that he would soon be a victim of. The man slouched in the back seat with the mask on springs to life when he sees the opening to assault the driver. Ralph's life is threatened. The man demands to be given everything that he has. But what happens next shows Ralph to be perhaps the luckiest driver the world has ever known. With the assailant completely unaware and the car parked at a red light, a police cruiser pulls up directly behind the car. The police officer becomes an eyewitness to a crime already in progress. In the fright of the attack, the red light had turned green, which drew further attention to what was happening inside of the car. The police officer cuts on his lights and approaches the vehicle with his gun drawn. The officer, now aware of the robbery, orders the thief out of the car. Ralph, visually shaken by the experience, tells the officer everything and the criminal was detained. The passenger was later charged with multiple very serious offenses that he would have to do a lot of time for. Mitch Kuhn has had a long, tiring day at work. He is in no mood for games and just wants to get home as soon as possible. In the dashboard of his truck, he has a camera filming at all times. It's nighttime and few cars are on the road. It's April of 2021, a night Mitch won't soon forget. As he is driving, he sees what appears to be a person off his driver's side dashboard. It's a child that appears to be wrapped up in a blanket or maybe it's a large jacket. It's just walking aimlessly in the middle of an interstate. It gets so close that it just barely misses Mitch's truck. The truck he was in was towing a trailer which makes sudden stops and extreme movements incredibly dangerous. Mitch felt that if he chose either of those courses of action, 
then that would have resulted in an accident and wasted a lot of time. So he reported the incident to the police instead. He told them that there was an unattended child out in the middle of the highway, that the child seemed lost and needed their assistance. Mitch continued home but was worried about the child's well-being, so about an hour later he called the police back. He wanted to get the status of the kid and, if need be, offer his dash cam footage to the authorities. The police told him that the footage wouldn't be necessary as they had located the child and brought it back safely. That's when things get weird. Because later the officers would say that no child was ever found and that they stayed in the area searching for it until 4 in the morning. They also swore that at no point did they tell Mitch that they had found anyone or anything. The next morning the community got involved. Multiple volunteers started canvassing the area but had no success. With no further reports of sightings, the search eventually died down. When the dash cam footage was captured, there were no reports of a missing child in the area. The police declared the video inconclusive after seeing the footage and took no further action. Have you ever survived a tornado? Welcome to the streets of Taiwan. A car is trying to get through a pretty intense storm. This dash cam footage was captured in the middle of it all and it appears to be a pretty incredible thunderstorm, but it's about to get much worse. You can see that already the outside winds are strong, strong enough to throw debris around. In fact, at one point it seems that a piece of debris flies up against the windshield. Little did the driver know that there was a tornado forming right behind him that would soon overtake the car and continue its perilous path right up the road. The dash cam footage captures the exact second as the tornado goes directly through the car. The winds are perilous, so strong that it could even lift the vehicle into midair. Notice how it does exactly that to a white van that's out in the road. The van's wheels leave the ground as it gets ragdolled by the tornado before it suddenly disappears. After the tornado goes away, we can see the van a ways further down the road in the middle of two trees. But that's not the only damage done. Perhaps the most shocking thing in the dash cam footage is that there is a person that is left in the wake of the tornado that's now sitting on the right side of the road. As you can probably guess, this woman suffered major injuries and would have to spend several nights in the hospital. This storm in Taiwan did legendary damage, producing more than 50 inches of rain and caused deaths and multiple landslides resulting from the excessive rain and strong winds. This dash cam footage comes from Russia. Although it's a beautiful and sunny day, this unsuspecting motorist is driving directly into an ambush. He continues down a long, desolate road, taking in the views of the countryside. Suddenly, up ahead, is a car parked obstructing passage on the road. You would think it may just be a disabled vehicle if it weren't for the two men with baseball bats that start coming toward the driver that were captured on this dash cam. The driver is shocked that these men would try to take on his car in this way and has to gather his thoughts to figure out what to do next. It becomes clear that these men don't need help at all, but intend to rob the man and the parked vehicle is just a makeshift roadblock. The man tries to continue, but the two men get in the car's way and do everything they can think of to stop the car and pull the man outside. The driver was fortunate to have the sense to outrun the assailants when a window of opportunity soon opens. He floors the gas pedal. He then drives around the car in the road and got away safely. The two men did not pursue the man further in their car, and to this day it is unknown if the two baseball bat wielding robbers were ever caught. Before we get to our last clip, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the video and want to see more like this one. This footage is a throwback from 2012. But to this day, there is no dash cam footage that will compare with what you are about to see. This happened in Moscow, Russia, near the airport. On December 29th, this footage was captured that shows the harrowing moments when one of the airplanes missed the airport runway and partially landed in the middle of that highway. This unlucky driver was there just in time to capture the whole thing. The crash landing was declared a mistake by the pilot who overshot the landing because of unpredictable weather conditions. He landed the plane too far up the runway so that when the plane touched ground, there wasn't enough room for the plane's braking system to engage and stop the plane before running clear out of the airport's boundaries and onto the highway. If you look closely, among the debris scattered by the plane, you can see that even one of the plane's seats is shooting out towards the passing vehicles. 
The silver lining of this tragedy is that this plane had no passengers and only was carrying crew members. All in all, five of the eight people on board died. The man in this vehicle who filmed this with his dashboard camera made it out unscathed. You know what's even more scary than these dash cam videos? Dash cam videos with fire. Watch these people drive through hell in this video of dash cam footage with bushfires. That video will be dropping in just a few short hours.